Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to make changes to a table. Uh, I uh, created a, a schema called enrollment and I have two tables in it, courses and professor. In the professor table I have the columns employee ID, first name, last name and phone. Uh, in the exercise what I will do is an alter, uh, use the alter statement to add a column called email and then I'm going to change the name of the column called phone to uh, phone number, to be called phone number. I put a forward slash asterisk and I closed it. That way, you know, this uh, text here will not run when I'm typing my queries. So, alter table and then the table name, which is professor. Okay. And then what I will do is add column and it's going to be called email and it's going to be variable character. I'm going to just put 20. Okay. Semicolon. And then I run my query. Run my query and refresh my uh, schema. When I refresh, I go to professor table, and now I have a column called email. Now for the other exercise, I'm going to use alter statement. I'm going to use the syntax change. And then it's called phone. Then it's going to be called phone number. I'm going to put up the case. Phone number. And it's going to be a variable character. I'll put 50 for this one, semicolon, and then I'm going to run query and refresh. And as you can see, now from a set of phone, now I have phone number. Uh, in the courses table, this one here, the course table, add a reference phone key to the course table. Uh, this is your same with create relationship between. Uh, I, I don't want to create relationship between the, the professor and the courses because it's going to be many too many with an associative entity called you know something in the middle that is called you know uh, enrollment or something you know uh, so what I will do instead is um, I'm going to create a table that is the so I'm going to create a table I'm going to call it enrollment or I can call it anything else you know assignment you know, what teachers are going to be teaching etc and this table here is going to have a, a composite primary key composite primary key is not to be confused with a composite attribute composite attributes something like address can be broken to its subparts composite attribute basically is when one column cannot be by itself uh, a primary key because if we take this table if we call it for example element or assignment and then we have course id as a primary key a teacher can teach many courses, a course can be taught by many teachers, so uh, this one is going to repeat in this table, so it cannot be a primary key, because we know primary key cannot repeat in a table, if it's a primary key. But, together with the professor ID and the term, they can form a, a unique row, but thus, you know, a primary key. Uh, so, what I will do is use those three constraint primary key course ID, professor, and term. So together they can form a primary key for this table. And then if I, uh, let me clear those, I'm going to run this one. And it should create, if I refresh, it should create a new, so here, a new table called enrollment. Okay. Now that I have created uh, this table, I'm, I can create a link between this table and the courses and the professor table. And to do that, I can use the alter statement. <coughs> um, I can add a phone key, course ID, that is going to reference the course ID in the other table. Now, here it can be a little bit tricky, and I can show you in a minute how that can be tricky. Uh, it depends on how you built your other uh, columns, you know, when you're building the, the tables. So if I run this query, as you can see, a reference column course ID and reference column course ID in the courses table. So basically what this is saying is that this course ID from this table, from the courses enrollment from here, you know, this one, and the one from the courses table, because this is what's happening. The course ID in this table is referencing the course ID in the courses table. In here, we don't have to put the table name because, you know, it's uh, it's this table here, the table enrollment, but we have to put it when we are referencing this field in another table. But what's happening is that it says that they are incompatible. One of the reasons could be that 
one for example is an integer the other one is a, a variable character or date or something like that which is not the case in here but uh, what's happening is that in this one if we go back and look at it and the course is this one is a primary key and, and it's an integer right it's an integer and in here the course id if we go to this one is also an integer so uh, they should be compatible right they should be compatible so why are we getting that error the answer is here if we go back to this one this one here is an integer yes but it's uh, uh, unie uh, ai i'm sorry and this one those that are not checked you know you can go back and look at the meaning of each of those you know i already posted the document uh, in canvas if you cannot find it i'll be happy to send it to you just to keep the video short so if we go here you see that those are not checked you know so these here they have to be checked let me go back and uh, just to so the course is table those two are checked see those two so here they have to be checked as well so if you don't do that you're going to get an error and then when you when you check those two you have to apply the change if you don't do that it's not gonna uh, it's like it's like if you didn't do it so you apply the changes and it has to execute successfully it's gonna uh, say here that it was uh, the script was successfully applied click finish and then we go back to our query all right this one here and then you run the query and now it should it should run without a problem and if we go to refresh we can see that a foreign key was created between a link was created between the enrollment and uh, the other table uh, you can you can use a statement to add a primary key if a table doesn't have a primary key the same way add primary key and then the name of the column you know you can also add the statement not null uh, for foreign key if uh, if i were to add this one the let me take this one out by the way you can i can do just this right and then i can uncomment this one let's see let's, uh, okay add the foreign key professor this is going to create a link between the enrollment table and the professor and uh, if they are not compatible you're gonna get the same error and uh, same thing you know the professor id so the professor id is in, in in this table is incompatible with the employee id if i go to data type it's gonna be exactly the same however if i go to professor id in here if i go to my enrollment table okay as you can see the professor id those two are not checked so for for it to be compatible with the professor in the professor the professor id in the in the professor table notice that uh, uh, i can still link those two, those two even if the name is different even if the name is different that wouldn't be a problem but if uh, one is integer one is var a variable character or one, one of those two one of those is not checked then it's going to give me uh, uh, an error that the two are incompatible so here notice that i'm gonna uh, not in the professor but i'm gonna go back to the enrollment because in the professor they are already checked so i'm gonna go to the enrollment table uh, this one here and i'm gonna check those two and apply oh professor this one this one and this one and then i'm gonna apply so I'm, i can only do it for the first one and apply finish and then go back to my statement click so many <laughs> tabs As you can see i have a lot of tabs open because <laughs> i teach more than one course and uh, you know sometimes i have to uh, 
record many videos, other videos, etc. So anyway, enrollment table. So it should be this one. So let's try it again. I'm gonna clear this and clear and try and see. So as you can see, now it's good. Uh, and if I go to refresh, and now I have another uh, form key that was created between the professor and the enrollment. So if I go to um, tools, there is a uh, reverse engineer. So if you go to database reverse engineer, that one will, you can uh, create an ERD for you from your, and you can see tables in element one, you can select the schema, you can next, next, and then execute. And then next, finish. And here, have created a schema because we created the phone keys between the table enrollment and the courses and uh, you know it shows all the fields and the columns those are the ones which this is the one we changed this is the one we added and those are the relationships we created between primary key and foreign key notice that even though this one says employee id and here it says officer id the name is different but uh, since they are the same data type it's the same field it's just different name it created the the, the link in and this one was the same course ID, course ID, primary key, primary key. In here, if you double click on it, uh, course ID, professor ID, and term, all three are primary, are a composite primary key. So each one by itself is a foreign key, okay, except for this one. It's not linking this one to any other table. But these two are foreign key, foreign key by themselves. But together, they form a primary key for the enrollment table. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.